Ja, Bordauto, ek gaan Bordauto vir vier daag, so ek, waar die spronbokke ook al is, so, so is hulle in Toulon sit vir to, vier daag tot die donderdag, denk ek. Ja, anders, en Kaas, jylle raag is van ons begin. Ons is net gegeven, en dan ons. Goed, ek gaan net, okay, I'm gonna give opportunity for, um, for the media in the room to get no. three questions, and we go over to the um, two suits. Yeah. Uh, Steven, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, first game of the season is you guys are going back into the preseason. Yeah. Um, you did say it is a bit rusty, but thank goodness you guys now to play European rugby in those balls, aren't you? <laughs> and it also shows the difference between Southern and Northern Hemisphere rugby. Yeah, I must say that was one of the aspects that we did well was the ball. Um, we targeted them uh, from the start was part of our plan um, but uh, I'm a bit disappointed in the rest of our attack. I uh, thought we started off well first 10-15 minutes but after that uh, we made just too many handling mistakes and we couldn't get continuity going. Alvis, in die 2-3 of my life for us, I think so much a bit of the power to give it a new heart. Yeah, it's star. In die ball that I've got from here is off out of the middle of the country. Ja, ek denk, hulle het taktisch ook slim gespeel met die skoppies achter ons. Ons het um, baie harde lijn spoed op ons verdediging, so die plek waar jy vulnerable is, is maar achter jou lijn. En hulle het baie goed um, toegepas, jy weet, daar is baie spanne wat het tegen ons probeer het, maar uh, ons kon het eindel vandag het hulle, die skoppies was perfect, die ouwens wat dier ons lijn gekom het en die bal weer teruggekry het, het goed gedoen. En die tuin over drie was een beetje ten die verloop van spel, so ons het hulle teruggebring, ek het gevoel ons domineer, en ons het eindelijk net nog eendrie nodig gehad daar, en toe druk hulle, en toe sê telling weer na by mekaar, so ons het baie werk, maar ek weet, daar is maar dankbaar ons die ding gewend, um, ek geloof ons sal baie beter wees volgende week. Die nachtveld het nou nie eindelijk het verskil gemaakt, maar het is gisteren nog een klipak. Ja, ek verstaan dit nie lekker nie, dit is nie, ons moet, ek, ek sal probeer dat dit nie volgende week so lyk nie, en ons het gister hier geoefend, en die week die geoefen in die veld was hard en nou skielik vanavond is het nat en die ouwens trek hamstrings en weet sie ba, kwam maar baie slecht geglij hier op ons doelijn is alles vol van die veld wat so nat is, daar is nie genoeg gras op die veld om om so nat te maak, want weet dan is het net een modder beet, weet so, sal probeer wat hulle dit hard was, dat dit nou doen ek weet glad, toe ek sien vanavond toe lyk hy so genoeg, ons het dit glad nie verwaas nie want ons het die hele tijd geoefen op haar geveld en hulle om net te naad gespuit na my mening vir, vir vandagse game, so ons sal verbeer dat het volgende week nie so verbeer he. Ja, dat is maar een klompie Nigels Ewardies skouwer, lyk nie goed nie, en Siwa wat daar op ons doelijn so gesplit het soos een kameelperd wat water drink, hy kon trin sy huis drink geskeer. Daar so hulle twee, Henke sit in Nigel, um, ek denk hy reis is al rond, is daar hierdie. Ja, wat er woon is weg. Nee, nee, Rewan. Rewan, ja, hy het maar meestal krampe gehad. Sy skouwer wat hy mee gesikkel het, is fijn. Hy het net gekramp. Um, Beer ek uit. Alwees, um, jy is het loobit concern my met midfield. Just a pak Robert en die baan, hy struggled a little bit. Alwees, hy massive boots left by France at a time. Um, so, probably one of the big focus points going forward. Yeah, they haven't played together um, as a as a unit, um, they will find their feet. Robert is a quality and an experienced player and Nivardi has got a lot of talent. So um, we uh, we picked them like that because David Brits is going to the Springbok Sevens. So I had a discussion with him and explained it to him that we want to give those guys a chance because we haven't got a lot of games before the European Challenge Cup. And they've got to find their feet. I think Reinhardt will be ready for the tour. So the two games overseas, he'll be ready to play, um, but both of them will, will improve as we go on. You think that it's a bit of a bit more gerust, but gerust that it's not just the same as the Vos? Yeah, I think it's a few reasons. I was just excited that it was back to us and we began to train. The first thing that I have said is the Karibeker is now over, the win is behind the plate and it's now a new season and a new chapter that begins. But it's easy to say that it's just a bit more in our heads and I... Ek was nie tevrede met ons ingesteldheid vanavond en die voorspelers het vir my baie meer urgency gehad om te speel en om die game vannacht te maak en hulle het hulle, hulle die goeie skill set gehad. So dit was vir my een bekie te leerstellend. Ons het daar oor gepraat na die tijd en geloof ons sal beter wees. Kom, 
Coach, first of all, congratulations. Um, I just want to ask you about um, you mentioned that uh, the two players from your, your side they, they played for uh, the other uh, they played with the Western province and majority of the players will be their first time to play um uh, with the Western uh, with the with the Western uh, force. So today, how how do you feel about the performance and also what do you expect for the next uh, coming game? Yeah, we were not happy with the performance. Uh, we're glad we could pull it through. Uh, the forwards pulled us through with the four more tries. Um, next week, we're going to change the team totally. I've said to all the players that if you're healthy and fit, you'll get game time in, in these two games against the force to try and stake a claim for the tour to Australia. So there will be a lot of changes and hopefully the team that will play next week will show a bit more urgency than the one that played tonight. Maurice, um, just on Ruan, do you perhaps see his future for the remainder of his career here at fly off, seeing that Revon's in my opinion the player that's made the biggest step up this year for you guys? Yeah, we spoke about it myself and Shaul during the game, uh, just before the end of the game, and I said to him, just Revan um has grown as a player, he improved one hell of a lot during the, the Curry Cup. Um and we've got quality backup scrum offs like and Regan Orania as well. So, in my opinion, I've spoken to everyone about it, is that we will see him as a fly-off that can play scrum-off uh, going forward instead of a scrum-off that can play fly-off. Right, questions from Zoom? Yeah, yeah Ronald, thank you. I was going to ask you another question. I will not ask you for him to make a sharing situation for us in English, up to some as a belief. Yeah, we've got a few niggles. If Ardi uh, of injured his, his shoulder, he will go for a scan on Monday morning. Um, Sibok Kwama has got a hamstring strain and uh, Inkus um, van Wijk has got a hamstring as well. So that's the only three guys that I know about currently that's got niggles. Obviously, this is part of your preparation for the European Challenge Cup. But is it is it a... a, a... Difference when you play the same team four times, can you try a lot of things and can you fix a lot of things when you play the same opponent so, so regularly? Um, yeah, I think it's it's the same sort of name of a team that you play against, but it will be different players. They, um, they've got a lot of their quality players um, waiting for us in Australia. So uh, when we get there, I think it will be a totally different team. They brought quite a young team over to South Africa and and they played well. Um, and the same with us. We will change our team totally for next week's game. And then we'll select 27 guys that will go overseas. Um, we will definitely have to improve in a lot of areas, especially on attack. Um, we, we made a lot of mistakes. Um, we couldn't, couldn't get flow in our game. So we'll work on that. And defensively, I think we were a lot better in the Curry Cup than tonight. So um, that's a bit of an attitude thing. And I'm pretty sure Shaw will sort it out in the week. Right. And what, what are the aspects of your game you mostly want to work on towards the Challenge Cup? I mean, it's obviously the big goal. Yeah, the Challenge Cup uh, is difficult conditions. It's Northern Hemisphere and it's December, January. It's cold and wet. Um, but it's difficult to simulate those things um, during, say, August, September here in South Africa and, and, and in Australia. So uh, we will play according to, to the conditions that we play the Toyota Challenge in. Um, we won't try and play a kicking game uh, in warm, hot weather. So we'll work on our attack and our continuity. Our skills has got to <clears throat> improve. I'm satisfied with our forward set piece um, and them all. But um, yeah, all in all, I think defensively, uh, we missed a lot of tackles. We didn't have the line speed that we are used to. And um, on attack, there's a lot of work for us to, to get more continuity, make less mistakes and to execute better. Thanks, Abis. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Abis. Okay.